Good morning, my fellow crafty friends. It is Thursday at 9 a.m. I'm going to give everyone just a second to hop on here. And while I'm waiting, I will bring everybody up on my laptop. So hopefully I can stop and look for comments today. I'm actually on time, which for those of you who watch as a general rule, know that that is really uncommon for me. <laughs> So that's why I'm actually giving everyone a few minutes to pop on. Um, so, so maybe, um, you know, maybe people will know that I'm here. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I am showing the front of these, the mini catalog and the celebration to start um, because I'm pretty excited. I can actually show you the inside of these tomorrow. If you're not working with a demonstrator and you need one, I'm all set up and ready to pop one in the mail for you. So please, um, please let me know. Good morning, Mary Ellen. Oh, I hope you're having fun on vacation. Um, Anyway, so let me know if you don't if you don't have a copy. More than happy to send one in the mail for you. So, um, if I sound a little congested, I apologize. I have horrible hay fever, and um, well, you know, it's the end of June in Washington State. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Colleen Light, and I am a independent Stampin' Up demonstrator, and I live in Southwest Washington state um and my website is cards by coco so that's all that today today we're going to be working with a set from the annual catalog here um which is one of my favorites but i haven't demonstrated it very much and i'm not sure why anyway um it is the nothing's better than and this set actually comes with a great many fabulous dies they're difficult to see though when you um difficult to see actually how they cut things out if I was just to show you the dies themselves. So I cut them out here. I, I die cut them and just adhere them this morning to this piece of magenta madness. Um use cinnamon cider. These are both retired colors. But I still love them, so I hang on to them. But you can really see, you know, we have the little glass and the coffee cup and the chocolate chip cookie. Um, these are chocolates, and then love you more than chocolate cookies, cocktails, or coffee. And I've got my coffee here this morning, so I would say I pretty much love my coffee more in the morning than just about anything. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be working with. We're going to be making a really fun card. Good morning, Sharon. A really fun card today, which I wish I could take credit for this layout. I so wish I could, but I cannot. I actually found this online from Sue Vine and Miss Pink Craft Spot. Anyway, I saw this and I thought it was just adorable. So let me show it to you real quick. Let me pop these other things out of the way. Um, I think she called this a circle easel card. I think that's what she did, but look here. And then you pop it up. And you all this is is die cuts. See, look at that, how cute is that? The nice thing about this is it fits in a note card envelope. Isn't that great? And I was wondering if it would fit in the three by three envelope and I didn't measure it this morning. So let's measure it right now and see. You know, it, it's three inches. Um, so it might squeeze in a three by three. I don't know. I don't have any available right now otherwise, but I do know it fits in the note card one. I was thinking these would make great um, like place card holders for a party or um you know you could actually even put a like punch a hole in it use it as a gift tag and then as a card both anyway i just think it's super cute so i've got most things ready this is going to be a pretty quick video and we're going to make this so i made this to look like my favorite summer drink which is actually strawberry lemonade with a twist of lime but i think i might use lemon I think most people would prefer lemon, but I like the little twist of lime in my strawberry lemonade. <laughs> anyway, and I do love to barbecue. So I'm going to set this one over here. I'm going to swap up the colors a little bit. We're going to do our stamping, and then I'm going to show you how we cut the card. 
So I have an envelope with some things ready here. Um, as you know, my desk is usually a hot mess. So I cut out extra circles because I have to give myself a little room for mistakes, you know. Oh, and I forgot the memento. I wanted to do this one. Hang on, hang on, hold please. I wanted to stamp this one in the tuxedo black this time around. I love this in that, um, what is that blue, that starry sky? But I think I want to use the tuxedo black this time because I'm changing the card base out. So let me get our stamped, our, my blocks and our stamps out. And we will start making this adorable card. So this is the stamp I'm going to be using here. But you can see, look at these coffee cups and it's got all these different sayings. Um, today's plan, consume. Mine would probably be coffee and cookies this morning. Adulting is hard. Anyway, just really, really fun ones. And you can find it on page 20, if I didn't mention the page. So let's go ahead and get this one stamped. I'm gonna grab this one out. And like I said, I just love all of the die cuts that come with it. Just love, love, love them. So hopefully I'm showing up in camera okay. Um, I think I wanna use a bigger block. So I think I'm going to use the D block. In case you don't know, the size of the block is written here. If you're new to stamping, um, it'll tell you the size of the block. And this is a D block here on the side. And you can tell mine are well loved. I really need to spend some time washing these up. And I probably say that every video. So tap, tap, tap. We don't, you don't want to smush. You want to tap, tap, tap. And the memento is noisy. So I'm going to go ahead, let me see here. I think I have a piece of scratch paper. I just want to make sure that I'm going to get a good image. So I'm going to do it on this first. Yep, good. So tap, tap, tap. And we're going to pop this one right here, hopefully without getting my head in the screen. And I put it off to the side because I want to put my sentiment here. On this one, I did a little bit of sponging. And you know, I'm kind of wondering if I want to do that again. You know, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to leave this one just in the white. This one I took our blending brush and I used a little bit of Tahitian Tide and this is what the blending brush looks like. So for my background, I just took some Tahitian, you know how you do, you tap, you tap on your ink and then you kind of blend off and you do that. And I put a little Tahitian Hide in the background and I may regret not doing that this time, but I think I don't want to. I think I want to leave it alone. So I guess we'll find out when it's all done, right? So since I'm going to do the background in Sweet Sorbet, I'm going to stamp our sentiment in Sweet Sorbet too. And I'm going to grab the You Make Everything Better. So let's take that. And, you know, I don't know why I opened those inks up in advance. You all have seen me stick my finger in it a million times and then smudge it everywhere. Some, sometimes you just can't break those habits, can you? <laughs> anyway, so when again, I just want to give this a sample. A little smush here. Yep, perfect. And I'm using the Stampin' Pierce matte under because I'm working with a photopolymer stamp and those just don't have any cushion underneath. So I want to make sure that I get a good impression. And this, um, this gives it that cushion, that Stampin' Pierce matte. And you can also find that in the annual catalog. I always try and explain things like it is your, oh, here, let me move this back in camera. Like it's your very first time watching um, because I never know who is watching that's an avid crafter and somebody else who is just a beginner. Anyway, this is the one I'm grabbing right here. You see the little ice cubes? How cute, right? So I'm gonna pop that here. I want that big one. Let me see here. I think I want the little one here. And I'm going to stamp off. So stamping off just means that I'm going to 
put it in the ink. I'm gonna stamp off on this scratch piece because I wanna keep this clean. And then, um, then I'm going to pop it in our drink here. So what is your favorite summer drink? I know there's a lot of wine drinkers out there. You know, I just never really liked wine. Um, just have ne it always gives me a headache. So I am definitely a strawberry lemonade kind of gal. And there we go. I'm gonna use this block again. So I'm gonna wash this stamp off real quick on my chamois and get this stamp out of the way. So, and now we're gonna put the rest of our little drink together. So let me put this stamp away. And I think let's grab out our lemon piece and let me grab the ink for that. I knew I would forget. We're gonna use so saffron because that's the first yellow I saw. It's always a game. What am I gonna forget this go around and I forgot the lemon ink this time. <laughs> anyway, so you can see this is just a little lemon wedge. I'm gonna use the so saffron. And I would say um, this is my favorite thing about the photopolymer stamps is you can see through them. And you are able to really go ahead and get a good image um, because you can see through them. These, um, this particular set is not meant to line up exactly. So I have to place an order. So let's vote. I'm kind of trying to decide whether or not I want to start in order with Halloween or if I, and see, here's this one right here for the umbrella. We're going to be using that and we're going to be using actually a stamped off version of the Tahitian Tide just because I love the blue and I'm going to bring the parakeet party in a different way. Anyway, um, Let's see here. So what was I saying? I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to start with Halloween in order like those fall sets or if we want to do Christmas in July. So I am placing an order first thing tomorrow and in the morning. So if you all could vote and tell me what you'd like to see. Look, see how cute that is, that little pop of blue up there. And do you see how all these just coordinate so well? Oh, see, Wendy, that's one of my favorites, too. Wendy says that um, it's, a, it's a strawberry berry lemonade, and I, and I love that. I also like the passion fruit one quite a bit, too. Okay, so let's bring this in. This is the parakeet party. I'm all in colors this go around, all in colors. I think our in colors are beautiful. So, and I'm going to use this little, there's so many little itty bitty stamps here. This little star one, which I just had a minute ago. Oh, it just slipped down. Good. I'm glad. And you can see I opened that stamp pad up again right away. Glad I didn't stick my fingers in it. And I am going to just be using full strength here. And I'm just going to pop these little stars, this is a nice summery card. We want bright colors. Um, we want happy colors. Look at that. You know, I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five. I like things in Oz, six, seven. How cute is that? Now for the fun part. Now we're gonna do our card base. So let me move all these inky things out of my way. And let's get our parts and pieces. So I am actually going to adhere this piece here. Let me move this out of the way. And I, I actually, every video I forget what this is called. So I made a point to look it up. It is a silicone mat. So <laughs> I think the last two videos I was like, if anyone can remember what that's called. So I'm gonna adhere this piece to this piece. And what I did is I used our layering circle dies. And this is what they look like. And I used the two, I used the ridged one and then the largest of the standard one. And that's all I did. So very easy to do. If you don't have the layering circle dies, 
Maybe you have the stylish dies or something else. Um, you know, use those. You can use the square. I think this would work, be great to make a square card with. Um, use whatever you have if you don't have these. All right, so I'm just going to pop this here. And since I use that seal, I want to make sure it looks good. Okay, I'm going to bring over. Normally, I don't do a lot of die cutting on screen, but I wanted to show you how this works. And I um, so I am going to grab, oh, let me move that out of the way, um, that layering circle die, the large one again, to show you how this works. Like I said, I really wish this had been my idea. I just think this is the cutest card ever. Um, and I think it's good for, um, so many different things. So I just measured this and I cut my cardstock a little bit over. I think I think we decided this was what, three inches, if I remember correctly, and I went a little bit over. And then I just pop this barely over the top. I don't know if you can see or not. Let me see if I'm in, see, you can. So, but I just wanted it barely over the top because I want it to stay together. I don't want to cut everything off because we need our card together, right? Um, so let's do that. And I'm gonna slip this in there. And just so you can see, and this will be the only die cutting we really do together. So these die cutting machines really, I make it look like it's so complicated. I have a bit of arthritis and I can get it through. Because, um, but it's just the awkward angle it's not that difficult to get it through <laughs> so look ba -ba -da -da. there's our card so that is our card base and how easy is that and you can think really if you were using your stamp apparatus and you had all your in fact i did a video i got a video i did a blog post on the stamp apparatus but if you used your stamp apparatus and you had all your stamps set up and you could just flip and turn and whatnot, think about how many of these you could make if you were having a gathering just so quickly. Okay, so I want to fold this one in half. I'm going to try and get it to line up. Let's get this to fold. I'm going to take my bone folder. For this one, I did not cut off the top of it, um, and and I want to because I want this to fold. So let's give this a little haircut here. I know I just had my paper trigger. Here we go. Let's grab this out again, and let's trim this top off. And I'm just going to take a very little bit off the top. In fact, I'm eyeballing it, and then I'm going to bring it in and see if that's enough. And it is, look at that, perfect. Okay, so we didn't do, I didn't do the sentiment here. So let's grab friend out and our sweet sorbet again. I think that's what it's called. You know, I think I've named that ink. It is sweet sorbet. I think I've called it every name in the book. Let me move some of my cluttery stuff out of the way here and just get what we're working on. And let's bring out the friend. You could really use any um, stamp that you like. You could do a happy birthday. There's any type of variety you could use. Um, that doesn't look very even. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Um, I think you could do welcome, happy birthday, hello, anything that's gonna fit down here. You can actually, um, and the way I saw it on the video that I watched, she actually cut off the bottom and raised it up on, um, she raised hers up on dimensionals to make a natural border. I don't like the way that's stamped. We gotta do it again. This is why I cut extra pieces because sometimes I just press too hard and that was an example of that. I just don't like how that turned out. Anyway, she would have cut the sentiment part off and she pressed and she popped that up on dimensionals. And so that made the natural easel 
um, something for um, this part I'll show you to rest on. But I like it laying flat, so that's what I'm gonna do. But this time I'm not gonna press so hard on this. So just tap, tap, tap. I need to take my own advice, tap, tap, tap. Put this down. Lift up much better, much, much, much better. I think what I might do though is grab some ribbon. Give me just a second here. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got some ribbon here and I've actually got the metallic woven ribbon which I think might work, or I've got the um, twine, which might work even better. Let's see here. Let's see which one we like. Let me open this up. So, and did I tell you all, I signed up for my first craft fair. So I'm gonna be working on some Christmas things. And um, I also do cross stitch ornaments and whatnot. I signed up for my first two craft. I'm just gonna pull this, which I probably shouldn't do, but I wanna make sure I don't catch any of that pretty ribbon with my scissors. Cause I've done that before too. There we go. All thumbs this morning. Anyway, um, I signed up for my first Christmas bazaars this year. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'll be making lots of projects. Do we like this green here? I kind of do because I think it ties in the, um, you know, I don't know that I do. I don't know that I like that. Anyway, let's put this, let's glue this down. Let's adhere this. We'll worry about that ribbon in a minute. Um, let's put the top on first. Sorry. Um, we'll put the top on first and this part down and then if we need something for a natural border we will figure something out but i think right now i'm just going to adhere it down i kind of liked it just kind of playing honestly i didn't didn't like it i tried it i think i want to say i tried it yesterday with ribbon and i didn't like it as well okay so with any fun fold you want to make sure you line up line things up appropriately but you only want glue on the on the part that's gonna be standing up. <laughs> Cause you don't wanna glue your card set, right? Shut, all right, so let's do this. Let's get it as straight as we can. And lining up those little ridges. And how cute is this card? See, I don't think it needs ribbon, honestly. You could put a gem there, maybe, maybe if we're worried about that. Um, popping down after somebody opens it. Maybe we can just use um, one of those gems. So these are the 2022-2024 in color, oops, matte dots, my goodness. Well, let's see if we can just stick that one back on. And let's pull this back so maybe it won't stick together. There we go, look at that. Got it out, my goodness. You know what, let's do that. Let's take one of the dots here and put that on the eye. <gasps> Cute, see? And then that will keep it all in place and still leave you a little room to write a note. Cute, cute. Okay, so now we wanna add another color up here too. And I'm thinking, since we already have the green, I kinda wanna add in this Tahitian Tide, right? No, I don't want the big one. I do want the small one. I'm going to add in right here. Since our umbrella is Tahitian Tide, I'm just going to add one Tahitian Tide there. Oh, sorry. Let me get back in screen. Sorry. Um, let's put that. So you can see how easily this card came together. Now, if you wanted to really fancy this up, just grab your You Make Everything Better stamp and pop one on the outside of your envelope here. We'll do it the right way up. <laughs> and look at that. And this is today's card. And like I said, I wish I could take credit for it. I actually, where'd my notes go? Um, from Sue Vine, Miss Pink Craft Spot. Don't forget, if you want any of the sale items, today is the very last day for 
the buy one get one 50 percent off um kit collections and today is the last day for that last um chance product sale the new catalog is in full motion tomorrow if you don't get my newsletter, sign up for it. I'll be writing one this weekend. I'll fill you in on my daughter's wedding plans. We have our big wedding. Well, not we. She has her big wedding. It feels like we, though, have a big wedding in the next few weeks. So very, very excited about that. So this is the one that I made today. And this is the one that I made yesterday. I'm kind of glad I left this one um, with just the white background. What do you guys think, though? I always like to hear your opinions. You always come up with great ideas. Anyway, I am going to bounce on, I do a live video for the first time on YouTube on Monday morning, and then I'll be back next Thursday, my regular time here at nine in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. Have a great weekend. I hope you all have something fun planned. Okay, bye.